Hey guys, it's Clyde here live from the Leechburg Lights Workshop Studio. We are making a video that is in response to an email sent out by Robert or Bob. Uh, and uh, Bob sent this letter in. Pretty much uh, the basic nuts and bolts is he's looking at the E682 and he's also looking at some of the Easy DMX controllers out there. And he's asking uh, what's the difference. Uh, from buying a 682 versus the EZ27 channel DMX board. Um, well, Bob, thanks for the question. And here is my response to your single question, which is, what's the difference? Well, it prompted me to do kind of a, a little bit of a, um, a product comparison. And dumb, the difference actually is one is a dumb RGB or a simple or a basic RGB controller versus a pixel or a smart controller. So what we have here on the left, this is our Easy DMX27 channel controller. I have these throughout my display and adding uh, a handful more this year. This is a uh, simple or easy DMX uh, RGB uh, uh, snowflake. Nothing fancy about it. Every node lights up exactly the color that uh, you uh, tell it to. And there's only one uh, output necessary for uh, for each individual element and uh, it's nice because you can turn them on turn them off and just adjust the color just the way you like it and it's very similar to Lightorama whereas on the on the right here we have the E682 pixel controller this uh, pixel controller can take a pixel of uh, many different denominations such as the uh, WS2811s the uh, uh, 9812, 9813 series, the uh, WS2801s and so forth. There's a lot of different types of pixels out there. I primarily stick with WS2811 um, and WS2812s are about the same. They use the same protocol. So. Um, but what about the interface? Well, there are different ways for controllers to talk with the computer. You can see here in, in this shot I have my laptop here. And these two top pictures, these are different types of E131 protocol bridges. What an E131 protocol bridge does is connects directly to your computer via a network cable. and it talks to the bridge, either this bridge here, this is the DIY LED Express bridge. It has six universes it can output to. And you have another bridge over here, which is four universe bridge from uh, an online site I found over in Allied Express. It's uh, over in China. They sent it over and it was uh, roughly 95 or 96 bucks. This bridge is about 80 or so, and then you have to build it. It comes as a kit, so the components need soldered to the PCB board. Um, you can see that uh, from one of these outputs, from one of these outputs, you end up running another network cable. The black one goes into the back of the computer. This gray one actually goes out and connects into, and it's on the lid here. You can't see the connector to this uh, easy DMX controller here and then obviously I'm running in test mode so I have two of the uh, strings of RGBs that are lit up so this is just one way to interface is with E131 now the other way is USB interface and USB is uh, not a connection uh, via Ethernet cable it is a connection through your USB port on your computer and what you have is you have your module of your DMX King which this is what this is the Cirrus E um, the connection to this is right through USB and then on the left hand side here you see this is an adapter that adapts from the uh, original uh, XLR 3 pin connector down to an uh, Ethernet cable or a patch cable connection so you could run this effectively right up into your uh, DMX, uh, your Easy DMX controller. So here's the basic setup. This is how it is. You've got your computer, and from your computer, you connect using an Ethernet cable, an E131, or you connect to, to this USB dongle using a USB cable. You have these two choices whenever using dumb, uh, dumb. Uh, or uh, basic easy DMX controllers. From here you connect into whatever specific universe that you've assigned to either one of these uh, dongles or to the to the bridge out into your display which is your 
uh, DMX controller. From here, then you just take a wire and you connect your four cables up to your red, green, and blue on your uh, uh, dumb RGB pixels. Pretty simple setup. It's not uh, not very complicated. I like to use um, a lot of dumb RGB uh, in my display. Uh, the dis my display is filled about 75% with dumb or simple, easy RGBs, and the rest of the display, which is about 25%, is pixels. So this here is my uh, radio sign, and this is the conversion I made to it. I've had the radio signs for four or five years now, and or six years now maybe, and behind them I ended up uh, putting RGBs in here and replacing the incandescent lights that used to run off of Lightarama. Uh, here is a uh, PVC frame that I made out of uh, extra uh, half inch PVC and connected together and I made these this little box and I zip tied the RGBs inside them and now I have an RGB present that is covered with coroplastic. Uh, so I like using the dumb RGBs they're very simple you turn them on and off. So what's the difference between the actual node the actual light itself? Well the dumb RGBs have uh, these one, two, three little uh, SMDs or surface mount devices uh, on on the actual board, and you can see there's one wire going to this one. There's a wire without anything going there, and then the third and the fourth wire each have an SMD. These are for the red, the green, and the blue, and uh, then the blank one is for the 12 volt positive. The way you can tell the difference between a dumb RGB versus a smart or pixel RGB is one has an IC or an integrated circuit which is this black chip right here. Uh, there are eight connections. It is a surface mount device as well. The difference between these is pretty much the board is different. This board runs off of what's called an IC protocol which is WS2811 for these pixels specifically versus this doesn't need a protocol this just runs off of DMX and the DMX goes from the controller and the controller regulates the voltage through the line to create the color or the uh, intensity of the RGB this is individually controlled at the pixel level the data is sent through the data line and voltage is not regulated through the voltage lines Pixel controllers such as the SAN, uh, the SAN devices E682 as you've seen here. This was my second controller that I built and uh, this is set up. I have two different protocols on here. Uh, I, I do use a, um, uh, a flex tech uh, um, a leaping arch and fire stick on, on the house uh, and those have uh, four wires. They're a, a, a 9816 protocol and I just set up the uh, output on the SAN device to um, connect directly to that, uh, that that strip and it can control the strip for me and then the, the rest of the board actually runs uh, the the 5 volt and 12 volt pixels well actually this size this side is 5 volt and this side runs 12 volt pixels for my uh, ground lights and so forth and some other uh, items in the display but the sand device controller is a pixel controller that has a lot of ability to control a lot of pixels um, so here's the basics of smart pixel controller setup. First, obviously, you have your computer, and from your computer, you connect directly to your E682. Uh, from your computer and your, your 682, you jump right out to your pixels. As you can see in the bottom of the picture here, I have my uh, 682 inside this enclosure uh, that is housed right at the tree. And from the tree, uh, from the edges of the tree, all the lines go directly into the uh, pixel controller to make my pixel mega tree. But uh, wait a minute, doesn't the 682 need an interface of some sort? As we saw with the last, uh, with the dumb or simple RGB, there is an inter interface or a bridge that is needed. Un uh, luckily, the 682 uses the E131 technology that the bridge does and is able to take signal directly from the com computer using a network cable connected directly to this network connection here. This is a, what, what's known as the WizNet on the E682 and it connects directly to the back end of your computer using the Ethernet jack. It's very very simple to hook up. But wait, there's more. 
using the 682 as a bridge. Really? That's right. Just as the dumb RGBs used a bridge, you can also set up using a network cable, a E682 going right to the controller, and you can configure the E682 as a bridge output say this cluster right here these four could all be an output for DMX so what does that mean well the rest of this board could be running your pixel elements such as your pixel tree or some candy canes of some sort but it can also output data from here into your uh, dumb RGB or legacy or easy DMX controllers and what does that mean you can light up anything you want just by using an E682 so to answer the question, what are the differences from buying an E682 assembled and tested or using the 27 channel easy controller? Um, well, pretty much the DMX 27 channel controller, controller it's uh, based on simple technology that requires a bridge or some sort of connection to the, con uh, to the computer in order to convert data from your LOR program or Nutcracker or um, X lights. Um, and also the E682 can control pixels on on a string of RGBs. You have individual control of each individual bulb, whereas the Easy DMX channel controller, 27 channel controller, does not have individual control. Um, you're, in other words, you're talking apples to oranges. They're two different types of RGB controllers. Also, using two different types of RGB lights. There are dumb RGBs and there are smart pixels or intelligent pixels. Um, the other thing that I have uh, have not mentioned in this as well is that the difference between the prices of these controllers, this is obviously a 30 or 35 or 45, I'm sorry, $40 or $45 controller versus the E682, which is can get up to 170 or 80 bucks. And the price is up to you whether you want to spend the money on the 682. Sure, you can get a kit and assemble it, which is what I recommend. You you can buy the kit, I believe it's 120 bucks for it to be shipped to you. And if you get 100 uh, you spend 120 bucks on a kit, that means you can still run the dumb RGB controller or you can spend fifty or sixty dollars on the uh, bridge, the uh, not the bridge. You can spend fifty or sixty dollars on the uh, DMX King or ninety-five dollars on that four output bridge, and it's already built for you. And then you can connect these controllers into it. It just depends on which kind of control you want over your display elements. I much prefer the look of uh, the dumb RGBs because it's less programming for my taste. I don't have to control as many bulbs or channels. So pointing you in the right direction, it's all up to you. If you want full pixel control of every bulb on the string so that you can do cool features and chases and so forth, then then the E682 is, is the right thing for you. If you just want to turn your window frame on and for it to be red, then you and, and you don't care about uh, controlling every pixel in that element, then you might be better off with sticking with dumb RGB. The dumb RGB, in my opinion, is the easiest to use, but it also is limiting because you can only have one color flash at a single time. Back in uh, 2012, my last year for Lightarama with a massive LED and incandescent light display, um, the differences between the two were I could run my white lights and my red lights and my green lights all three on at the same time, burn the electric up, and have the coolest effects across my tree lines. I cannot duplicate that today unless I put two sets of lights or three sets of RGB dumb lights onto my trees or my windows or anything. So that's the difference. Pointing you in the right direction is not going to be the easiest thing for me to do because you have to make the decision what is it that you want out of your light display and how do you want to best uh, put your display together. So I hope that answers your question, Bob. Um, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, I hope this video is helpful for everyone else. And if you have a question, please, please send it to me. Uh, email Clyde here at leechberglights at gmail.com. You can check me out on the web, www.leechberglights.com, and also on my Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash leechberglights. Guys, have a great day. Thanks for taking time to watch it.